And we are live. This is Justin Stoddart from the Think Bigger Real Estate Show. I'm super excited about today's episode, daily episode. Um, I'm with Jordan Maton of Inspire Realty Group. Um, so he owns that brokerage. He's of the Ma the, the Maton uh, Real Estate Group. Am I saying that right, Jordan? Yes, Maton. That's right. There we go. I get it all the um, time. So no, I, I was curious how it ended. Maton Real Estate. Maton Real yeah, Estate Maiden Group. Yeah, Maton Real Estate. Maton Real Estate Group. I, I don't there care, man. Just call us, and we'll help you buy a sell house. <laughs> so, so Jordan's a well-known figure here in the uh, Portland market and beyond. Really, I just learned actually that he goes all the way from. Uh, uh, Kelso, Washington, all the way down to Salem. Um, I brought Jordan on the show here today because I see his stuff everywhere. Uh, if you're a real estate agent or even if you're a consumer, you probably hear him on the radio. Uh, you see him on um, the internet. Uh, you, you, you see his print marketing. Like he just does a fabulous job with marketing. And I said, Jordan, will you do me a favor and come on and teach our audience about marketing? And um, Jordan, you shared something super interesting with me, which was, uh, you know, I can do that, but really um it's like what brings the the business isn't necessarily the marketing like the marketing is important for marketing properties and, and the owners care about that but when it comes to getting business for me it's I'll, I'll give like almost all credit to prospecting is that right jordan did i understand you correctly yeah i mean we're a prospecting based team and we have been for a long time i've you know i, I believe in marketing i it's something i, I like to look good and something I, I like to do um and there's some things that help right but ultimately, earning business, it's every transaction that we get, it's because we go out and we get it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would say we're prospecting based marketing enhanced. And that's, that's been the key to success for years. So it, it's, it's interesting because I think um, for agents on here, they might be thinking, as, as long as I'm really good at marketing, I'm going to have all the business that I want. And what I hear you saying is um, that could be a fallacy depending upon your business type and model. But if you want to get business quickly now today and actually improve your 2019, you're going to have to go hand to hand combat. You're going to have to go talk to people, right? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the problem, right? I, I, I believe when I first got into real estate, I wanted to spend a bunch of money, you know, and, you know, radio and marketing and flyers and postcards and every and database mailings. And, uh, you know, you're sitting there and you're waiting for it. Um, Earlier in my career, I had gotten connected with Mike Ferry, and I was really, I really enjoyed Mike, um, and I was very involved with him. and And I liked the idea with Mike was that you know instead of spending money and waiting for business to come to me, I go out and get it right. Mm -hmm. um, the marketing can be really great. It's great to have a luxury home magazine into our seller and say, hey, this is one one you know blurb. It's a way of getting in the door. It's part of a, a pre listing package to get us in the door and earn that business. But it's Right. But at the end of the day, we win that business for because we're great at scripts. We know what to say and how to say it. Um, and we've we've called hundreds and thousands of people. Right. Um, and so that prospecting base and earning that appointment is critical. I, and I just I don't see I don't see anybody having a, a, a solid career um, based on marketing. It, it really needs to be. You need to have, you know, earn that database and earn that. Even if you work a database, if you're not yeah. calling expires and cancels, if you, I mean, I know brokers that are doing 50, a hundred million dollars in real estate and names you've had on your show probably. And they're calling, they're still calling. They're calling every day. They're calling. Now it might be, Hey, how's your kid's uh, uh, birthday or how is your wife's anniversary or whatever, you know, they're calling and having those relationships, but they're consistently sitting in front of those people and asking asking for the business, ask for the business, ask for the business and having events only so they can keep seeing them and seeing them, seeing them. And that's, that, that's still phone based program, yeah. right? And it, and it, and it, it's a schedule, right? It's following that schedule. Let's get into that, Jordan. Um, thank you, by the way. And I, I hope um, everyone has taken away a lot from what Jordan just said. Like, if you want to have more business, you're going to have to talk to human beings, right? At the end of the day, well, if you want their real estate business, they're going to want to have actually have a conversation with somebody. And the more of those conversations that you can be in on a daily basis, naturally, with the right scripts and the right offering, you're going to be getting uh, more real estate transactions. So let's talk about following a schedule, Jordan. I know that's um, one of the key value propositions to your team, right? Is that you've taken, and let me get the stats here, right? Um, last year, you closed 112 transactions. You've got 13 people on your team. All of them are newly licensed, minus you, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I got a couple staff, but yeah, but that's true. Um, you know, we have, so you, and a lot of those people are within the first five months, right? We just opened a brokerage. So there was a little turmoil at the beginning. 
Um, but it's smooth now. And uh, I mean, we just hired somebody who uh, got licensed in May in her first 90 days, she did six transactions. Um, she'll do 12, 15 million next year, no problem. Um, and, and so what you're saying is the the differentiator, and she's, she's probably special, she's, she's probably got some talent, right? But there's a lot of people that have yep. talent. But what you guys, what you guys do is you actually have you hold them to a, a schedule, right? Yep. And what's in the middle of that schedule is is contacting people. You know, I tend to lean towards expires and cancels because it's my bread and butter. But despite what you know, some people in the industry think, uh, my business has become actually primarily database. So we're now almost at thirty to forty percent. The goal this year is to get to fifty percent database. Um, and the other, you know, and then expires and cancels or, and so we're constantly, re and then of course we have to do a little bit of online leads, but you know, we can't, we can't buy our way into business. Right. Um, and I think that's the piece with marketing. People want to spend a bunch of money on marketing and, and, and they want to spend the money in hopes that they don't have to do the work. And the thing yeah. is, even if you spend five, 10, $20,000 a month in leads, you got to call those people and you got to call them for years for years, right? So even if you're spending that money, you, you still have to build a schedule. What's, what we're known for and what I, I usually caution people who want to join our team is that it's not the dream of real estate, the flexibility at all. Like everyone's here at eight. Everyone does three hours of logged mojo time, which means that not that they sit in front of a phone for three hours, that it has to be dialing. If they click pause, it stops. So, and that's logged religiously. Um, we have script training every morning. We have team meetings. We have huddle ups. We have, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot. Um, but it's like getting a master's degree in real estate so that we can get our agents super, you know, into production very quickly. And, and do they call expired and cancels? Yeah. Do they call circle prospecting? Yeah. The, their number one thing is getting them into a 200 person database as quickly as possible, reaching out to those people. We do quarterly events like OMSI or the zoo or Christmas trees or whatever, inviting people to that um, and following up with the 20,000 people that we have leads, paid for leads, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of leads that you have to call 30, 40, 50, 60 times, right? So that marketing can be great, but it's it's like not even that's like the that's the first base you know you have to you have to do all the time and and it's a contact sport it's reaching out to people talking to people and having that communication and that's critical i love it man so your agents appreciate that that's why they come to your team is that they realize you know i've tried to do this on my own and i tend to shy away from a schedule right i'm self-employed i'm free but oh crap where's my next paycheck coming from what you say is join our team and we're going to hold you to a schedule which is also holding you to receiving income Am I yes. understanding correctly that that's like, you just happen to know what's good for them. And so it's like, look, if you're on the team, these are the, this is what we expect, but keep in mind that we're doing this for your own good. Cause if we just give you all the freedom in the world and you don't actually contact people, um, you're going to be disappointed with the results. Well, the beauty is at this point, I, I don't really have to babysit them. I mean, I, they, the first week or two, they're trying to get into the flow. I mean, again, there are a lot of them are newly licensed where they've been doing it some way. They're trying to do it a different way. Um, and the team is all doing it now, right? And so I don't really hold them accountable. The team holds everyone accountable. It's a very positive peer culture and they're all cheering each other on. And so it's it's not, they're all, they work together. You know, it's not, a, a there's so much business out there. there. There's no, they're not fighting over leads or anything like that. It's a lot of opportunity. And so they all kind of hold each other accountable and it's a very positive peer culture. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, Coming in, making calls, going on appointments. I mean, what is the five of five jobs of a realtor? I mean, I'm basically regurgitating everything that's. I, I just do everything that's been told, right? That's what my success has been is listening to coaches like you, and um, you know, national coaches and real estate coaches, and and they just tell me what to do, and I do it. I mean, it's so the the top five jobs of a realtor is prospecting, lead follow up, going on appointments, negotiating contracts, and mastering your skills and dialogues, right? So our brokers focus on those five things. They're not working on flyers or doing a blog or a website or messing around with a Facebook page. I mean, they're going out and getting business. They're taking it back, right? They're hunting and bringing it back or they're building that data. So the one, I love it, man. It's, it's, it's so clear when you put it in those terms, right? It's, 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 it's not easy, but it's simple. It's super simple. And I love how you guys have made things super simple. Um, so just one kind of takeaway for everybody listening here today if they could actually go move the needle in their business, 
today to, to improve what their 2019 is like in their business and at home, what's the one thing you would have people take away from today's broadcast? I mean, they need to get uncomfortable. I mean, let's be honest, people that are listening to this video, you know, they 90% of them probably don't want to get on the phones. They yeah. may not want to call their database. They might not want to call, uh, you know, expires or prospecting or their neighborhood. But, you know, the amount of people that you know, first of all, that you should be hammering them really hard to them um, and talking to them consistently. But the amount of people that you know is this and the amount of people that you don't know is here, right? And so my recommendation is that you put an hour, two hours, three hours, five hours if you don't have any business and be actively every single day, no matter what, working at getting, talking to people, you know? I mean, what's your plans? How are you thinking about making a move? How can I help you? Oh, you're six months, a year, two years? Let me follow up with you in building that pipeline. Um, because if you're not doing that, you're not really in real estate. I, you're not in business, right? Yeah. I mean, you're just hoping and waiting. And and that's not that's not a plan. Awesome, man. So I would invite everybody just to follow up with what Jordan said. Go get uncomfortable today. Do something. Call somebody. Pick up the phone and call somebody who's not your mom. Right? It's not super easy for you to call. Um, and just check in on them, right? Offer value to them. Keep in mind that you um, have value. You can help people and you're calling to offer them help. Uh, so thank you, Jordan, for being such a catalyst for the industry and overcoming fears, following a schedule um, and um, helping people in real estate. I, I appreciate your time. And uh, how can people get a, get in contact with you? Um, we're actually looking at, we're actually hiring. So anybody who's thinking about, okay. I'll have to talk to them. You know, no pressure, no obligation. Um, but you know, we, we are looking for a couple of people that are hungry, want to take their business to the next level. And my promise to them is even if we're not a good fit, it will be hundred percent confidential. And if I can pass any wisdom onto them and help them grow their business at the same time, I, I, I'm always open for coffee or, or whatever. So, you know, I want to be out there and helping, you know, the community as best I can. Cool, man. I love it. You're always giving back. Great to see you um, on, on my screen. I just, I see you on my screen a lot, but it's fun to be together talking about this stuff. We'll do it again. Have an awesome day. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you, sir. Yeah.